Chilling Chillin' Chillin' Friend One here and welcome back. I am very excited. Today we are doing a craft. I don't normally do crafts on my channel, but I thought this would be a lot of fun. I did a concert story time in my last, um, in my video a couple of videos ago. And I just really thought that, that was so much fun. I loved the energy. I loved to get to talk to you guys. So, I thought what would be a better time than to have a little chill night well, we made pottery, pottery set, and it comes with a pottery wheel. So I'm very excited to get into it. And honestly, I don't know what I'm doing. So let's figure it out together. Okay, so it says it comes with the paint. Oh, this looks so freaking professional. Oh my gosh. People are probably so annoyed. It's like, shut up, but it's so cool. Oh my God, do I need batteries? Okay, we officially have batteries. So after a whole hullabaloo of that, I got it figured out. So are we ready to make some pottery? Cause I don't know what I'm doing. And I just read the instructions and apparently they say to do it in a spot where you don't worry about getting or making a mess. So, I'm doing this in my bedroom, so I guess this was poor planning on my part. A trusty cloth that is for my hands for when they get gross. And we've got the little wheel, which I love the aesthetic of this wheel, the colors, and just, oh my gosh, it's so plasticky, but it's so cute. And of course we've got the clay. It's just tan clay, which is kind of sad. I wish they had like a better color. And then we've got the water. So don't judge that this is a theater mug, it's fine. So they said to wet down your hand, well, I guess I shouldn't wet them down until I actually open the package. Oh, it's so squishy, it's so cute and squishy. Oh, and it's cold. It's weird because I've stored it at room temperature, so why is it so cold? I'm gonna go for like a pot aesthetic or like a, I think I'm gonna go for like one of those serving, um bases that's kind of like it's got the little lip and then you can pour but obviously it's probably not going to be super professional so let's just get into it though i'm just so excited to just jump right in um i don't know what i'm doing what is going to go wrong probably a lot of things so i'm just going to kind of work with what i've got that part done it looks like i flatten it out pour water on it flatten it out Put it on, I don't know, the wheel. So, maybe I need more water, maybe it's, cause I need to really loosen this up. This needs to be loose and loose and loose. But yeah, let's just feel the clay. Let's not get demonetized, even though I don't get paid to do this. What a mess this is already in. Oh my gosh, it's so cool though, I love it. I really, really poor planned this. This is very, very messy, but I'm having a lot of fun. I hope you guys are. I hope you haven't clicked off quite yet. Exactly. Because now, do I spin it now or do I just keep adding water to it? And the directions are not helpful. I gotta be honest, they are just not getting me anywhere. Oh my gosh, there's so much everywhere. Okay. Okay, that's not it. That's not it. <laughs> okay, maybe we'll try. Am I supposed to flatten it, maybe? And then scoop it up, kind of. Oh my gosh, this is the worst. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just getting it everywhere. Okay, just massage it. Just make it happy. Just massage it. Kind of get it in its element. This is not helping at all. I mean, maybe it's making it a little less slick, which is good. Or a little more slick is what I meant. But I don't know. I mean, is it supposed to now can I force my hands in there a little bit so that I can actually curve it? Ruined it. I don't think I did it right. It might be too wet. See, it feels like when I put the thing on there, it shouldn't stop moving. We are just failing at this 
horribly. I am not sure what I'm doing wrong. The directions do not help me in any way. Ah, now it's stuck. Oh my gosh, I'm panicking. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, maybe we're supposed to leave it off until we have it on the actual thing. And, and then we, I, I don't know, I'm honestly making this up as I go along. Okay, so we're gonna pretend that this looks damn good. And everybody's gonna tell me it looks damn good because I need someone to validate a little bit. I think it's gonna look great. It's a masterpiece. I know what I'm doing. I'm living. There, we kind of got something, right? Only 10 hours later, kind of. It sounds like a dying cat. Like, I don't think I'm doing this correctly and I doubt it. But like, we're gonna keep trucking along. I'm going to assume everything's fine. Until a spark shows up, I'm just gonna keep doing what I do. All right, I'm getting somewhere, kind of, not really. All right, yes. Look at that, I made a bowl, kind of. Let's keep doing it. It's not spinning at all. Like, I'm really forcing this spin. not working for me yet. It looks cute, kind of, not really, but it kind of looks like a teacup. If the teacup fell off the ground or fell on the ground and someone tried to remake the teacup. It also is toppling over a little bit, so that's also not great. Very, I don't know if I'm supposed to let it dry, but this, it probably, I would think I'd have to let it dry, right? But this is a bowl and it's very, very sticky and very, very loose. And it kind of has the vibe that the minute I try to take it off of the rack, it's going to break. So let's pray that um, this doesn't freaking break right when I take it off the rack. Or the wheel, I don't know. It's rack, wheel, same thing. Just, I feel like I've recuperated well. I feel like I started, I panicked, we, we went through an emotional roller coaster as I was making it, and then finally we got somewhere. So, I think it worked out. So, I'm gonna just kinda pat, oh, that's probably why. I haven't washed my hands in the water for a while, so that's probably why it's getting so hard. Now it's got water in it though, that's not good. It needs to help it expand a little bit just kind of got to settle and it's kind of hardening as I move it so that's good I think I did it you guys I think I did it did I do it well that's up for um that's up for debate but I did it and it looks pretty okay I mean would you buy that at at Michaels and considering that I have no idea how to read the directions or that the directions helped me in the slightest I think it came out pretty good it's also really weird how therapeutic this is like I really like getting to play with the clay and shape it and form it it's so much fun to just and the clay is so mushy and fun to touch it's like it's just kind of fun to mess with okay so I'm supposed to let it dry overnight so unfortunately we will not be able to paint this but we at least made a pottery, so that's good. If I take it off, it's gonna get it destroyed because it kind of has that look to it. Like it's gonna just fucking fall. Sorry, it has that look to it. Like it's just gonna freaking fall apart. Like the second I move it, it's just gonna, let's see. Okay, let's try to go down one speed. Oh, there we go. So maybe I'm going up too high on the speed. I'm trying to give it some more like volume so that it actually won't just fall over when I take it off. 
I'm kind of worried it's just gonna fall to pieces the second I take it off. Okay, now we have to use this little tool. You probably can't see it, but it's a little piece of wiring, or like dental floss kind of wiring, between these two little pink pieces. And we're supposed to use it, wrap around this and pull it or like kind of guide it out. First, let's get a look at the 360 of this beauty. We did it. We made kind of a bowl. But anyway, guys, that's all I got for you for today. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for staying awesome. And until next time, guys.